This is what we have for the first part of the Minilab 2. In order to save time, we have to turn on the hot plate at least 15 minutes before the experiment. In order to save time, you do not want to add a lot of water into the glass beaker. All you need is when you add water and the metal piece is immersed in the water. From what we can see here, it only needs about 100 to 125 milliliters of water. Let's try to get 125. See, this is about 125 milliliters of water. And then we put the water on top of the hot plate. Next, we need to measure a few masses. Apparently, if you want to get the mass of an object, you need an electronic balance. Here we find one. But when we look at the balance, it seems the electronic balance is off. So make sure you press this button and then turn it on. And after it is turned on, the reading is 0, 0.000 grams. Now it's the time for us to make our measurement. We can place our, our metal piece on top of the balance. And then it reads 35.453. And then we should record this data immediately after we get this reading in our notebook, not on a piece of paper. Uh, make sure you write the data on the right place. 35.453 grams for the metal piece. Sometimes when you find a balance, it is already on. And in this situation, you must pay special attention on the initial reading before you place any object on top of the balance. Uh, let's look at this one. The reading is negative 35.453 gram. So we have to push this button so the reading will become zero. Then we can start our measurement. And this balance gives us the same reading, which means it is very reliable. For this mini lab, we also need to measure the mass of the calorimeter. Let's make sure the reading is zero before we place the cup on top of the balance. And then the mass of the cup is 3.562 grams. And then we need to add about 30 milliliters of water uh, into the calorimeter. Because this does not need to be exact. So we use, just use this cup to take our measurement. But this experiment does require us to know the exact mass of the water. So we put the water into the cup and then take the mass measurement again. The cup plus water is 35.710 grams. And later on you can calculate the mass of water only. After you finish the mass measurement of the metal piece, you need to immerse the metal piece in the glass beaker. And then you can uh, get the metal piece immersed into the glass beaker by adjust this uh, clamp position.
So you have to make sure the whole metal piece is completely immersed in the water. And the next step we are trying to do is we need to set up the temperature measurement. Uh, this time to 20 minutes, we may not need 20 minutes just in case we need that. And set up your sampling rate as 60 samples per minute and then we are ready to go. Since we need to monitor the initial temperature of the water in the colorimeter, we will insert the temperature probe inside the colorimeter. We may need to gently swirl. And then we need to start the data collection by click collect. Then the reading will be recorded. We need to monitor the temperature until it shows a constant reading because it is water only. Uh, it is at the room temperature. It, it will take a very short amount of time. From the screen, we can see that the temperature reading is pretty constant. Next, we need to know the initial temperature of the metal piece. So we take out the temperature probe and put it into the glass beaker. Uh, you can see from the screen the temperature is rising. Uh, we will need to wait until the temperature is becoming constant. It may take a little while, but it will not take too long because this is already boiling. Let's wait a few more minutes, uh, a few more seconds. And make sure for your temperature probe, do not touch the bottom of the glass beaker because that temperature may be different than the temperature of water which we assume the temperature of the metal piece is the same as the temperature of water. Right now from the screen we can see that the temperature reading is pretty constant. So we will take out the temperature probe. If it is not, if it is not dry, we need to get a piece of, we need to get a piece of tissue to wipe it off. And then we will take the metal piece out. From that, make sure this step you have to do it fast. And then you continuously to monitor. Make sure this step you have to, to do it fast. And gently swirl. So make sure the temperature transfer is fast and efficient. And then you monitor until the temperature is constant again, and then our experiment will be done.